Hello and welcome to Chugging Along. I'm Tim. And I'm Sam. So thank you very much for your comments on our last video where we chugged up Heartbreak Hill and recorded our lowest average speed yet at 0.78 miles an hour. If you're new here, we're doing a long narrowboat journey from Hurlston Junction to London. In this week's video, starting in Kidsgrove, we'll be going through the notoriously low-roofed Hare Castle Tunnel, through Stoke and down to the town of Stone. You'll want to stick around in this video as we show you our Stone Diaries and we also discover a local culinary delight. We want to give a shout out to Anne and Barry, pictured here, playing our new canal board game, Argy Bargy. Thank you so much for sending your photo and we wish you all the best chugging on the Clanglockan Canal in the future. And if you'd like your very own copy of Argy Bargy, there's a link in the description below. We also have some exciting news. We have been featured in the February 2022 editions of Canal Boat and The Telegraph. Uh, yeah, we did a couple of interviews for those. I, um, I actually wrote the article in Canal Boat and The Telegraph. Uh, we both did an interview. It's about our life on board and about Argy Bargy as well. So yeah, very exciting and uh, yeah, it <laughs> feels good to be in a magazine, doesn't it? <laughs> on print. Right. So let's get into today's cruise. Our first task was to get to Kidsgrove to meet Tim's parents, who would be joining us on the cruise. First, we had to tackle a few locks. This is Red Bull Services, but we won't be travelling at F1 speeds today. And this is the Red Bull Pub, which is surely older than the drink. Tim's mum and dad were on the staycation of the century, living it up in downtown Stoke-on-Trent. They got the train to Kidsgrove and helped us out with the final few locks before entering the Scare Castle Tunnel. Here is the Pool Aqueduct, which is part of the Macclesfield Canal. Papa John got a shot of Mariel going under it. This is the first aqueduct we had gone under since Birmingham. If we were going on the Macclesfield Canal, we'd turn right here. Then we'd end up going back on ourselves and over the aqueduct. This really is a very interesting part of the system. The water is a unique rust colour here. Does anyone know why? Comment below. We approached the tunnel, but before we could enter, we got a thorough safety briefing from Carl, who works for the CRT. Just slow right down for me. Castle Tunnel Gate, guys. My name's Carl. 
Have you been through this one before? No. no. Awesome. You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 1.6 miles long. Absolutely die straight. No deviations, no turns or no twists. Mm -hmm. But there are some good lumps and bumps in the walls. Please stay in the centre of the channel. Don't stop. Don't reverse. You'll be the last boat on this run, guys, because I'll shut the tunnel from this point onwards. Black and white marker board there is the minimum height inside the tunnel. Please be aware there are significant height changes, normally indicated by white or yellow paint. You will very probably be yellow as you go through the tunnel, okay? Watch your head on the roof, guys, please. Other than that, guys, this is the most important bit. If you have an emergency of any description, tiller failure, engine failure, or a medical emergency which stops you or your crew getting the boat out of the tunnel, please sand your phone with one long blast every 30 seconds. So a good long blast off the 30, good long blast off the 30. Keep that going until you hear three short blasts from either end of the tunnel. That means we know you've got a problem. Got you. Okay, guys, you are good to go in. Thank Enjoy you. your trip through the tunnel. Alright, cheers. Thank you, man. My colleague will be ready to see you at the other end. I'll make a note of your video. The roof starts off high, but it gets low in the middle. This was the second Air Castle Tunnel. The first one by Jamie Brinley suffered engineering issues, so Tommy Telford completed this new one in the late 1820s. Tim's enjoying his whistling anyway. <laughs> I didn't know he could whistle so well actually. <laughs> miles long and by far the most thrilling one we've done yet. Our next long tunnels are on the Grand Union Canal, the Braunston and the Blissworth, which we'll be showing you in the coming weeks. The next part of the journey saw us chugging through Stoke-on-Trent, the pottery capital of England, which is where they filmed the Great Pottery Throwdown. My dad always looks very comfortable with the tiller. is Westport Lake, which is a popular mooring spot. Mm -hmm. 
The kilns really are a thing of beauty. At one point it's said that there were thousands of these bottle kilns in Stoke. Now there are only 47 remaining, which isn't many by comparison, but it's 47 more than we saw in Milton Keynes. This is Middleport Pottery, which does factory tours. If you like industrial architecture, this stretch of canal is a must cruise part of the network. This is the first canal side Toby Carvery we've seen. Sadly, we didn't stop though, as we were already planning to have some pub grub in stone. We do love a Toby though. I know. If you turn left here, you can go on the Corgan Canal, which goes to Leek and Froggle. Many people say it's a beautiful and peaceful canal. This is Summit Lock in Stoke-on-Trent. Yeah. Someone's had a successful day magnet fishing. This is the centre of Stoke-on-Trent, but sadly you can't really see the city that well from the canal.
we started to chug on more rural waters again. That's a great little boat to have at the bottom of your garden. There's the famous Wedgwood Pottery, which was founded in 1759, which is older than the Trent and Mersey Canal. This house has just made an appearance on Cruising the Cuts channel. It's for sale if you've got a spare £900,000 going and it has one of the best garden warrants we've seen. This is the Plume of Feathers pub in Bolston which is owned by television star and builder Neil Morrissey. Now, that's a good morning spot. We chugged parallel with the railway line, whilst completing the final section into the town of Stone. After the final four locks of the day, we found our spot near some posh looking houses. Here are our stone diaries. end of today's cruise and we really enjoyed our time in stone especially the oat cakes and the weather spoons <laughs> but now tim it's time for those all important cruising statistics okay thank you very much sam all right so i've got the stats here we did 15 miles and 22 locks which is quite a lot and that was all in 10 hours thus giving us a fairly respectable average speed of 1.5 miles an hour that now means our trip average is at 1.25 miles an hour and that now means we've done 41 out of the 205 miles to London in next week's video we meet up with one of Mariel's previous owners who gave her a makeover and turned her into the boat she is today and we'll also show you our Rouge Lee diaries and we'll be chugging over the River Trent. So we want to say thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end and remember no matter what you do in life you've got to keep, keep chugging! chugging.